Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9. And hope you enjoy. Yes, the Constitution is first and foremost in any oath that's ever sworn from the military to the President of the United States. The oath that's sworn is I so and so do solemnly swear to uphold and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And after there, after that, it will change um, depending on what you're doing. But because our society, the direction that our society has gone, an oath really doesn't mean much to to very many people anymore. Um, I swore the oath all the way back in 2003. And, you know, I was 17, so a lot of the significance of it was kind of lost on me. But as I've grown and matured and, and gained life experience, I've realized the importance of that oath that I swore. And an oath doesn't have an expiration date. Once you swear an oath, that oath is yours to hold and, and keep until you die. And someone who has sworn that oath who doesn't take it seriously is an oath breaker. And a traitor. And, and you should be leery of that type of individual. Well, I've long, I've long said that it is the responsibility of everybody who's taken the oath, regardless of it, president down to the lowliest, brand newest private in the entire military. We have to hold each other accountable to that oath. An oath is an important thing. I mean, our our word is our bond. A man's only as good as his word, and that still applies, and that's still true today. And that's the thing is, a lot of people will think you're a sucker for thinking that way. I don't care what they think. I swore an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States, and I will do that until the day I die. Listen to those words that Mitch just said, though. I don't care what they think. Nobody wants to be a sucker. Nobody wants to be taken advantage of. But when it's all said and done, you live honorably. And it doesn't matter what others do. It doesn't matter if others are trying to take advantage of you or they're trying to do whatever. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't care. That shouldn't stop you from being an honorable person. And if it does, that's that only speaks weakness to your character. We have to hold ourselves and those that we interact with more accountable for our moral actions. The idea that, oh, we don't want to have conflict or don't want to have uh, we don't want to be, we want to be nice, or we need to be tolerant of others' weaknesses and mistakes. There's, the, the hidden truth there is, we do need to love others. That is a commandment. But that doesn't mean be okay with the, the weakness, or be okay with the sin, or be okay with the, the oath-breaking. It doesn't mean embrace the, the wickedness that is in each of our hearts. The line between good and evil goes right there through our heart and we need to choose to be on that good side we need to choose to be honorable and then we need to not care when people laugh at us for it when they make fun of us when they think that we're suckers whatever because ultimately it doesn't matter the truth you know about yourself should be enough you need to be confident in yourself to not care to not give a shit there's plenty of people who think I'm a fool for the, the viewpoints and the beliefs that I hold. But that really doesn't matter because I do my best to do what I know is right. What I believe is right. And what I've been told through the scriptures is right. You know, we hold these truths to be self-evident. I live my life based off of that. I'm not a very great person sometimes. <laughs> but... But being mocked and ridiculed does not really bother me. 
because more than anything, I want my posterity, my children, and ultimately when I face God to say, you did the best that you could to your understanding. You hold your, you held your oath and fulfilled it. And that's more important to me than being mocked and scorned and ridiculed. Because like I said, there's plenty of people who think I'm a fool. But when you have morals and you have honor, those who don't have those will mock you. And that's okay. Fools mock, but they shall mock. Again, thanks for watching Elders Rising episode 9. Um, hey, buddy. If you like, subscribe and share, and have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party.